friends, how are you? I hope that you've had a good weekend. It's been a tough one for me. <laughs> Nothing terrible has happened. Um, I'm just really feeling the weight of being at home and not being able to see my friends or my family. And I know that so many of you can relate, especially my friends in the UK who have just been sentenced to another very strict lockdown. Isolation is just such a tough thing. Even if you have someone at home with you, it's just like to not be able to go out and socialize, especially with those who you love most is, um, it's depressing. So I'm definitely feeling that. And then also just 2020 in general, um, I felt like I've been running on a treadmill and just not getting anywhere. And I feel very overworked and just overwhelmed. And um, I hope that I can just enjoy from now through New Year's and then hopefully find more work-life balance in 2021, which is something that I've been talking about and I'm getting there. I'm not sure that balance exists when it comes to um, work life and all the things. I, I think that it, it will always be kind of unbalanced, but just doing it in a more healthy way is something that everybody can strive for and something that I really like to prioritize. And so my intention for today is contentment or rather just being okay with our current situation and trying my best to just enjoy myself. And so today I've had a nice lion with Rue and I've done my morning stretches. I really like to journal next. I find that journaling helps me so much with anything that I'm going through. I love to stream of consciousness, just write out everything for at least 30 minutes when I'm having a hard time or just um, feeling like I need to think through something to get to the other side. And then I'd like to take a Skillshare class because Learning helps me to always feel better. I love learning and I love feeling like I'm doing something to better my life or my understanding of the world. And it's so refreshing being new at something and just I love the fun of figuring it all out. So I'm going to go ahead and do a Skillshare class and then I don't know. We'll see where the day takes us. But we're going to try and be content and enjoy this time of isolation. Okay friends, let's get to it. The birds fly south as the light leaves your eyes. Hold on to your dream. Oh, I know you wanna scream. Since the day you're born just a flower on your own waiting for the sun to blossom hoping to break through the storm
later and I'm still so cold. I'm wearing two sweaters right now. It's ridiculous. I also have on a long sleeve shirt underneath. I'm finally warm and cozy, but it takes embracing the frumpy sweater life. Also, I would just like to highlight Monsieur Ru. <laughs> Look at it. So I've just finished exercise three of Annie J. Pizza's Skillshare class on finding your style. And guys, I'm enjoying it so much. This course has been so helpful. I've cried. <laughs> Some of the exercises have been like therapy for me. If you have Skillshare, I highly recommend taking this class or course, whatever it's called, and really put in the time to do the exercises because they are so helpful. I've been working on them for over two weeks now whenever I have the time, and it's been so unexpectedly therapeutic and then also just so immensely helpful in finding my style and just gaining confidence in my own creative abilities. And so now that I finished that, I feel inspired to do another tea mug illustration. I have something fun planned for these illustrations that I hope to let you know by the end of the year. And then I'll need to edit a Vlogmas video and I hope to maybe begin a puzzle and listen to an audiobook or a Christmas movie. I'm not sure which one. Probably a Christmas movie because you can only watch them between now and Christmas, and I can always listen to an audiobook. We'll see. But regardless, it's been a really fun day so far, and I hope you're enjoying this video. Mm has a new sprout. Yay! Big has a new leaf too. I cannot explain how happy it makes me when my plants get new sprouts. I feel like such a proud mom, <laughs> or as much of a mom as I possibly can having never had actual children, but a proud plant mom nonetheless. Time to do today's advent calendar. Okay, so I've had this advent calendar since I was a child. It's actually, I don't know if an heirloom is the proper word, but it's been in my family for many years. And so I have no idea where it's from. I've gotten so many compliments on it. Thank you. Um, but I think that maybe my grandma made it or somebody in our family. I'm not sure, but this is today's advent ornament. Look at it. <laughs> So it's three bells, but I can remember being terrified by this thing as a kid because in my mind, it looks like a very scary alien. Do you guys see it? Totally a scary alien. But I can remember staring at this thing over my morning cereal before school as a kid and just being so uncomfortable. There we go. Is it gonna stay? Oh, it looks so cute. Oh, I love it. There we go.
snow in the sky.